So today we're going to cover section six. Today we're going to learn how to calculate volume of pyramids and also find maybe a missing height or something from the formula. Now the pyramid, um, when we calculate this volume, is going to be very similar to the prism. If you think about it, if I were to take this picture of this square pyramid and put it inside a cube, Really what we're doing is after we calculate the volume of the cube to find the volume of the pyramid, it's like we chopped off a third of that volume. So yesterday we saw the volume of a prism to be capital B times H, where the capital B in the formula is the area of the base shape. Now for the pyramid, if it were this particular case, the square pyramid, we would just take the same formula and multiply it by one third, or what we're gonna do is divide it by three. Either way, so really it's the same formula, you're just multiplying it by one third or dividing it by three when it's a pyramid. Now, again, when we refer to regular, so when we refer to a regular pyramid, Regular pyramids have one base that's going to be a regular polygon. So if it's got four sides, it would be a square pyramid. If it's a triangle, it'll be an equilateral triangle. Um, however, the base does not have to be a regular polygon. Um, but when it is a regular pyramid, um, the lateral edges are going to all be congruent. The lateral faces are gonna be congruent isosceles triangles. And remember the altitude is gonna meet the base at its center. And I'm gonna show you this where the center is located on the next slide. So here is the official formula. I know I showed it to you on the first slide, but the volume of a pyramid is one third capital BH. Again, where the capital B in the formula that represents the area of the base. Notice this height here is hitting the center of the polygon on as the base. So it hits the center. Again, that height is either is also called an altitude. The first example says we have a regular square pyramid and the square pyramid has a base edge of six and a height of 12. It wants me to find the volume and give the exact answer. So I'm gonna go ahead and sketch myself a square pyramid. And again, you're not gonna have to get graded on your drawings. So there is my square pyramid. I could draw in the height. And again, it'll be indicated with a right angle. So my height here is 12 centimeters. And the base edges, it's a square, so these are all congruent, and it's six centimeters. The volume for a pyramid one third, capital B, area of the base, times the height of my pyramid. My base shape is going to be a square. So the base is six times six. So it's 36 centimeters squared, that's the base. So now, why did I put 32, it's 36, 36, centimeters squared. I'm now gonna take this B and put it here. So volume, one third, 36, times the height, which is 12, and now you're just gonna multiply. If you just wanna do 36 times 12 and then divide it by three, you can. If we weren't using a calculator, I would have highly recommended that you simplify diagonally like this, maybe change that to a 12, and then final volume here would be 144 centimeters cubed. The units on volume are always cubed. So if this were a question in last night's homework, 
you would have just done 36 times 12 and you would not divide by three. For the next one, it's a triangular pyramid. Now it's not an equilateral triangle, it's just a right triangle as the base. So we're gonna go ahead and do that one. So again, volume, remember, is one third area of the base times the height. So I'm gonna go ahead and identify everything I need. So my height is right here, it's seven feet. The shape of my base is a triangle. Notice the height is the four. So now this height is different than the other H. It's just the height of the triangle. And then the three would be the base. So my base shape is a triangle. So one half base times height. My base is three. My height of that triangle is four. So three times four is gonna be 12 and then divide by two and the base area is six feet squared. So now I'll go ahead and take that, plug it in for the capital B. The height was seven. So now I could just do six times seven and divide it by three and the volume of this triangular pyramid is 14 feet cubed. If this were a triangular prism, again, it would just be 42. You would have just done capital B times H, no one third. Now, keep in mind that one third is actually a repeating decimal. So honestly, I think it's easier to divide by three at the end. But again, you could put the, all those threes on there, but it's a lot easier not to. If you weren't using a calculator, you could have uh, simplified the three and the six, made this a two, and then done it without a calculator, two times seven, 14. Now we're gonna do one where we're asked to find the height. So we're still using the same formula, volume equals one third base, times height. So what we're gonna do is fill in what we know. We know the volume, it's 24. I don't know the height and I need to find my base area. So again, by the right angle, this is the height, this is the base. So I'm gonna do one half. And again, it really doesn't matter the order that you multiply here, six times three and then divide it by two. So my base area, if I were simplifying this, three times three, and the capital B is nine meters squared. So that's what I'm gonna replace here for the B. Put in the H still. I'm gonna go ahead and simplify the one third of nine. One third of nine is three. And now I can just sim simply solve my multiplication equation divide both sides by three, and my height is eight, so the height is eight meters tall. So again, the volume of a similar solid, we need to find the scale factor first. Once we find that scale factor, we need to cube it. So they're giving us the information for pyramid A and B, and they're telling us that they are similar. So I'm gonna go ahead and to find the scale factor, I need to look for two linear measures. They've given me the heights of both of my pyramids. So the scale factor is identified by the variable K. So we're gonna take the height of pyramid B, and it doesn't matter if you do A over B or B over A. So height of pyramid B, I'm gonna do it with B over A, over the height of pyramid A. And this is gonna be equal to six over eight, which reduces to three fourths. So my K value is three fourths. For the volume, we need to take this K value and we need to cube it. So three fourths cubed becomes 27 over 64. 
So now I'm gonna set up a proportion. I'm going to take the volume, since I did height B over height A, I also have to do volume of pyramid B over volume of pyramid A is equal to K to the third power. So now I'm gonna plug in my numbers. So I have pyramid B, I don't know. That's gonna be my X. Pyramid A's volume is gonna be 96. My value for K to the third power is 27 over 64. I have a nice proportion. I'm gonna cross multiply and solve for X. So I'm gonna multiply 64 times X and then 27 times 96. Once I cross multiply, 64 times X is 64X. 96 times 27 gives me 2,592. Gonna divide by 64. And X is equal to 40.5. So the volume, because X stood for the volume of pyramid B is equal to 40.5 meters cubed. It's the volume of a composite solid. So whenever you have like a complex figure or a composite solid, we need to take and find the volume separately and then add them together. So for this shape, we're gonna, to find the volume of this composite solid, everyone's gonna be different. We're going to take the volume of the square prism or the cube which is the bottom and add that to the volume of the square pyramid. So I got to do both of these individually and then add them up. Now, the formula for volume of a cube that you probably saw back in middle school, or in this case, the square prism, it's just for the, and I'll call it a square prism, but it's also known as a cube. Remember, it's capital B times H. The base shape is a square. So the area of the square is just six to the second power or side times side. So the formula for volume of a cube is side to the third power. And that's all I'm doing here is six squared or six to the third. And this is gonna give me 216. Now for the volume of the square pyramid, remember pyramids are one third base times height. So again, my base shape is a square. So I'm gonna do six squared. And the height of that pyramid at the top is also six. So I'm just gonna do one third of six cubed, if you wanna think of it that way. And then one third of 216 gives you 72. So the volume of the pyramid is 72. So then now I can add them. And the total composite volume will be 288 meters cubed. And these are all meters as well. So the final volume of both solids together is 288. And that is it for the notes on 11.6.